Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to go over Salesforce VLOOKUP feature and how you can use this in your validation rule because it only applies to validation rules. So the question is, what is VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup and it's commonly used in Excel. Now, what this does, it allows you to search for a value in a column of data and return a corresponding value from another column. It's quite similarly used in Salesforce, except it's going to be looking into or from a custom object. So uh, VLOOKUPs can be used in validation rules to compare values across different records. How does VLOOKUP work in Salesforce? So VLOOKUP is commonly used in validation rules, as mentioned previously. To compare field values on one record with a field value on another related record. This could be useful in forcing data consistency and ensuring that certain conditions are met before the record being updated. So some things to note uh, when you are going to implement the VLOOKUP uh, function, make sure that you do have a custom object values that you would like to have it uh, search. Um, here are the field types, data types that are allowed for VLOOKUP. Auto number, roll up summary field, lookup relationship, master detail relationship, checkbox date, date time, number, uh, phone, text. Uh, commonly used, I would say text. It's just much easier. And I will show you an example in the video. More things to note, uh, the field on lookup object must be the record name from the custom object, the field on lookup object and lookup value must be the same data type to ensure accurate comparisons. And I mentioned this previously, the, the value returned by VLOOKUP must be from a custom object. So it is mandatory that you do need to create a custom object. So here is the VLOOKUP syntax. When you select the VLOOKUP in the formula creator, in uh, Salesforce, these are the parameters that you need to fulfill. Field to return, field on lookup uh, object, lookup value. The field to return would be the field of the look VLOOKUP to look or match. Kind of confusing reading it, reading it this way, but uh, you will see a demonstration and I'll go further into detail on that for more clarity. Field on lookup object would be the record name from the custom object. This is something uh, very important to note. And again, I will show more in the uh, demonstration. Lookup value will be the objects field for comparison to the field to return value. So right here is field to return and lookup value right here. Just to note, uh, they do have to be the same data type. Uh, if you recall in the previous slide, that the data types have to be the same. Otherwise, uh, when creating your formula in the validation rule, it will error out or it just wouldn't work. Let's get to the demo. So before I begin the uh, demo, I want to show you the formula right here uh, for the VLOOKUP from the Salesforce help documentation. I'll also leave uh, a link to this uh, reference doc in the video description. So check out the video description. So as you can see, this is the VLOOKUP. And here are the parameters right here. One, two, three. So here is the field to return, field on lookup object. And here is the lookup value. And that's what I wanted to show you. So for more context, I want to show you that I created a custom object called routing number. Now here is the custom object in the front end. As you can see, this is the routing number and here is the state. As mentioned previously, the record name is crucial for this to work because it's going to look into the uh, record name as, you know, as mentioned as the part of the parameters. So the routing number is actually the record name for the custom object. And as you can see, there's values here. And there's state as well that corresponds with this. So this would be more like the field to return right here. As this is the field to return, this is the field uh, of the uh, lookup object. Now the lookup value will be more like the state because I'm comparing the state 
and the values. So that is created. So here's an account right here. I have a section called bank direct deposit and I have a few fields here. So state, a routing number and account number. So as you can see that uh, you may be aware that some states, uh, well, mo many states across uh, the country, uh, if you have a national bank, they have a unique routing number for that state. And you'll notice that in your uh, check. Uh, so basically, if you live in a state of, say, New York, I would say everyone has the same routing number. But obviously, everyone has a different account number because that's how you uniquely identify uh, an in indiv individual's account. Going back to the routing number, as you can see, there's a corresponding routing number in state. But let's go ahead and create the validation rule. So here I am in the object manager account. You want to go down to validation rule, click on validation rule, click on new. And then let's call this V lookup account VR. Okay. And let us find the VLOOKUP. And it tells you right here, fields return, field on lookup object, lookup value, and gives you a small description. Searches an object for a record for a record where the specified field matches the specified lookup value. If a match is found, returns another spe specified field value. Insert that. Now let us create the validation rule. So right here, I am going to do insert field. I'm going to go to object type because I wanted to return. Let's see. There's routing number, routing number, but I wanted to return the state. Okay, that's the field to return. And the next parameter, I wanted to look into the record name. So let us go to uh, object type again, go to routing number and go to routing number. And as you can see, it has field.name and the lookup value. It's going to be count. Just going to compare that. Then we're going to do an insert. I'm going to do a last thing right here. I'm just going to do an exclamation point equal uh, the state. It's going to do count again here. And then we're going to look for state insert. Let me just uh, put that there. OK, so field to return, look up field on object, and then look up value. And keep in mind, the field, the field to return and lookup value has to be the same uh, data type. So on the account objects routing number, it's text. And the routing number uh, state field is the, um, in the routing number custom object is text. So how this reads out. So, you know, when it's comparing, and the state value is not um, the exact, uh, exactly spelled value, then it is going to trigger the validation rule. I'm going to check the syntax before I save this. Let's make sure that there's no errors. Okay, we're good. Okay, save. Okay, this is activated. All right, so here's an account and let's do a test drive. Okay, so billing address is California. Yeah, we can just do California. I haven't specified much in the validation rule that would, uh, you know, impede this. It's just based on these fields. So let's put California for, yeah, routing number. So let's go to the routing numbers here. So California, let's do this. So this is the routing number for California. OK, 
Okay, go to paste. All right, so let's do nine. So this was eight at the end, now it's nine. Let's see what happens. There you go. Validation rule triggered. So it does work. So let's put eight. So that is the California one. But let's try to put, uh, you know, CA as an abbreviation for the state. Let's see what happens then. Type in correct info. Guess what? Okay, let's put California. There you go, it saved. But let's put another state. Let's see what happens. Let's put New York. It didn't work. Okay, let's find the routing number for New York. Let's type that in. There you go. It's saved. Uh, let's uh, put an account number two. There you go. It is totally fine. So I hope that cleared things up on how to use VLOOKUP. You can use VLOOKUP uh, function in Salesforce for like say phone number or something, you know, pretty much unique as long as the values are corresponding. So that's all I want to show you today in this video. Uh, please do be on the lookout for the uh, video description for more information, references, and other links. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.